That's better. Okay, it helps if I remember to to mute the uh, desktop audio. So I don't get my ass in trouble. Maybe that would be helpful. Sorry, I have like a weird shaped desk and the way the um, camera has to sit on top of my monitor, it's kind of sits at a strange angle. So trying to make it look straight on the camera is not straight in front of me. So it's a little strange, but. Oh, I think that crisis has been averted. Sorry about that. We had a false start there for a moment. So the image in the bottom corner is what we are attempting to do. That's not the original image. That's the um, that's the one I painted following the tutorial for that painting. But we did that on a previous stream. I think last year. So since I um, don't want to go through the trouble anymore of trying to figure out what music I can play and not get my ass in trouble, we've decided, well we, I've decided, that um, we're just not going to have any on stream for these and you play what you want. You queue up whatever music you want to listen to, just, you know, turn it down low like I would have on mine and, and there you go. And you can pretend that I am playing your favorite jams, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I had to restart the stream there because I was like, oh, Frig, I forgot to mute the desktop audio. And uh, I had Lindsay Sterling playing in the background. I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna get my ass in trouble. So I had to quick, um, quick stop the stream, mute the desktop audio. I deleted that 26 second VOD because, you know, I don't want any problems. So. It's like, okay, that's all right. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. So we fixed it. I haven't heard this song in a long time. I went through all of my music over the course of like the past two weeks. And there was stuff I forgot I had on my computer. Stuff I used to really like and then just stopped listening to. And I was like, oh, hey, I forgot about that song. So we have quite the eclectic um, playlists going. The one playlist I ended up making for when I do arty things on my own, or when I'm streaming just to listen to for me, um, ended up having 226 songs on it. And it's like a 14 hour long playlist. So in theory, I could listen to it in one day. So um, we're going to start today by continuing on with the sky. Um, today's goal is to at least try to get the clouds done. At least the first layer of clouds. Um, I never had the chance to come back in and do my second layer on the clouds this week. Uh, I've just been, just been busy. 
and then trying to get the Bloodthirsties ready for their streams on Wednesday has been taking a lot of time. Because it takes a while to get through um, a level in Shadowlands when you're grinding. So it's like I get to on a stream, I go make dinner, and then later in the evening I'm trying to squeeze in leveling time around um, doing prep for this art project, my other art project. This one will eventually be going up on the Etsy shop once we're done. And it's been sealed. Um, it'll probably be a little bit more than the 11 by 14s that are currently well actually i don't know if i have any 11 by 14s up right now well it'll probably be a little bit more than the magnets at the very least because magnets were a lot smaller i think there's still some mini 4x4 canvases available and i believe there are still a bunch of magnets available from when we were following the last set of Bob Ross tutorials. There's still a few of those kicking around. And Etsy shop is just Nisi Paints. Ow. Should be a link to it on my Twitter. I hit my elbow on my desk. So I hope everybody's having a good Friday. or whatever day it happens to be for you. I know some people are on their Saturday. Or maybe you measure the day of the week based on your days off. So maybe it's really Tuesday for you. Which is why when I worked in the casino, I was like, well, this is my Tuesday. This is my Wednesday. This is my Saturday. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm not doing anything but sleeping. This is my Saturday. Like, be gone, people. I've had to talk to enough people during my work day. I'm not talking to anybody anymore. Working in a casino was rough. It was rough. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's so glamorous to work in the casino. No, no, it's really not. It, it's really not. And the pay was not that great. Um, not where we were. And not for what we had to do. Because husband worked there too. My pay might have been a little bit better than the husband's. And I might not have had to deal with quite as much bullshit. Oh, your pay was significantly better than mine, huh? Well, yeah, I was also working with financial documents. So. Yeah. But, um, it was still a lot of bullshit for what the pay was. There is nothing gl glamorous about working with drunk people. And I'm sorry, but that's what it boils down to. It's just, it's just not. Because people get bel belligerent, people get angry. certain people's asses you had to kiss because of how high of, of a credit line they had. It was not fun. I wasn't a dealer though. Um, I worked in the credit office. So I had to deal with financial documents and things. Bank reports and data entry into the computer system in the credit office. I could be using my stylist here. Sorry, my, my canvas slid. Um, I've got it up on my paint board at the moment.
but um, she probably should be using the stylus because I'm getting a finger full of glue, but that's okay. It's all right. It's kind of hard because I have to hold it anyway, so I might as well just shove it on in there. So we're just using regular tissue paper, um, like the kind that you would shove in gift bags. Um, and I've cut them down into small squares. And then from those small squares, I figure out what I want to do with it. So sometimes certain sections I have like little tissue paper snakes. I don't know if that can be seen. No, let me see. Yeah, so it's like a little tissue paper snake. So I'll take a square of paper. Like it's approximately an inch big. Make it bigger. I've worked with them slightly bigger. It's just that's I was trying to fit them into a bead organizer. Um, it kind of worked, and then I was like, "Oh, I need more tissue paper than this," and I ordered more tissue paper, and I was like, "Oh, this isn't gonna fit all in the box. I'm gonna have to end up storing it in Ziploc bags anyway, because containers are expensive for me right now." But it's okay. The bags are working. I have them close pinned up to uh, a little curtain I have behind me. Or some of them. The ones for this project are hanging up. The rest are in a storage drawer. Or a drawer in a storage um, cart next to me. And so the clouds I'm doing in little... Oh, I want to call them snail shell circles um it could also be considered like little like little flower shapes like little rose shapes um but i did them in the circles from the clouds just to give it a little bit more of a movement feel like a fluffy feel sometimes you get that like circular motion in your clouds and the actual sky non-cloud colors um, I just did in the paper snakes so that's going to be the pink the two different shades of purple here are our clouds and sometimes when you do the little snail shell flower shape they don't always like to stay closed they always like to stay circularized <laughs> or spun in their little circle um, sometimes they want to unroll sometimes it's hard to get it into a tight circle so um, I'm going to be doing two rows or like two layers and spots on the clouds A it'll give it a little bit more dimension and um, B it'll help hide any gaps from sections that wanted to unravel. Now if you had a slightly bigger square, those are a little bit easier to tighten because you can get a better grip on them. But since these were smaller pieces, um, my newer cut stuff, my newer cut pieces of paper aren't quite as um, tiny because I got a paper trimmer like for scrapbooking and it's hard to cut that small I mean it's still small but some of the pieces are a little bit bigger and I don't know when I'm gonna have to replace the bleed on that I'm not sure how much tissue paper I can get away with cutting and um, it's very picky, that paper trimmer. It was 10 bucks, so I was willing to see if it was going to work. It was more of an experiment than anything. Um, so once you 
once you learn how to communicate with it and um, how many layers of paper you can get away with cutting at one time, um, it goes a little bit faster than it did when it was cutting it with scissors because it's got a ruler board set up on it and I can kind of eyeball the um, size I'm looking for. I've got glue all up under my fingernail. Oh well. It's gonna happen today, especially if we're working on the sky. You will get glue on your hands with this. If you try it, it's just the way it is. But we're not using any dangerous glue, we're just using tacky glue at the moment. So it is nothing to be scared of. It comes off with some water. It'll be all right. It's not dangerous. We're not that level of crazy where we're like sticking our hands in super glue. Don't do that. Um, you might be able to do this with Elmer's glue or like white school glue. I think I started out using school glue. Um, if you're gonna use like just the, if you can't get the tacky glue and you try to use the school glue or like the Elmer's white glue, um, you might just have to kind of let it start to get a slight skin on the top of it before you start putting the paper down. Or you might have to like just do it thin enough and I'm like completely unraveled or um, hold it in place for a couple of seconds just kind of let it get a grip in there the tacky glue is a bit thicker so it tends to um, grip the paper a little bit faster that's all and it starts to um, get a slight skin on it a little bit faster from it starting to set up than like school glue at times. But this is what I had, so this is what we're going with. All right, so I still need to go back and do a second layer on some of the purple, light purple clouds. A little bit more of that out of its Ziploc bag. And I lost the lid to my glue bottle. <laughs> I'm so sad. I don't know where it went. It hit the floor. Um, and rolled somewhere around my desk. I don't know if it rolled under the area rug that my chair is sitting on or if it's like just completely under the desk. I don't know if the cat's made off with it yet. It's It's gone. I don't know where it is. It's just gone. Alright, so I'm going to try to see where we need a couple extra. sections of light purple so um, I don't know if this one would really be able to be put behind glass um, maybe in a shadow box frame because this isn't flat the front is not flat. It is raised. So, like, you might be able to put it in, like, a regular uh, frame without glass. And they do make frames without glass. You can usually find them in, like, the custom framing section of certain stores. I'm not saying this is going to have to have a custom frame, 
That is a standard size. It's 11 by 14. Um, I don't think we really... But that's like where you can find the ones that don't have glass in them. Or at least you could at AC more from past experiences. I mean, I'm sure you could probably find something at Michael's or Joanne's or they'd be able to help you. Or, you know, shadow boxes will probably work too. They've got some depth to them. If you really, really, really want it behind glass. Just coming in and doing second layer in a couple of spots. Hopefully it holds. <laughs> we'll see. <coughs> it would be nice if the second layer decides to grip. So my fingers are going to look messed up because of the glue stuck to them. That's why I don't have nice nails, because my hands are always getting something on them. That and I just don't have the money. Don't have the money to deal with it, and the nail polish smell gives me such a headache. And I used to do my nails, like I'd at least like throw some nail polish on them. And um, I'd get done. And within 30 seconds of being done, one of my nails would be smudged. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And then trying to fix the nail that smudged, I fucked up another nail. And then I just got to the point where I'm like, I'm done. And then I just like ripped it all off and like, nope. Not for me. Not for me. We've got quite the mix of music going today. We've got Lindsay Sterling hopping up in my playlist today. I've got Sophie B. Hawkins. Had some Joshua Cadison. And again, you guys can't hear the music I'm playing. It's on purpose. Um, what's some of the music that you guys are listening to? Because I listen to quite a different range of things. I like Enya. I like Sarah McLaughlin. I like Linkin Park. And Fallout Boy and Edema and Sister Hazel and um, some show tunes. <laughs> so it's got quite a Quite a mix of music. I don't have show tunes in this one, but okay. And sometimes I listen to game soundtracks, so. I think I actually have the soundtrack for Planet Zoo in this playlist, too. Just kind of fits in with everything else. I 
Yep. Stick. No, no, no. I have a feeling that one's going to be a problem right when I placed it. I was like, no, no. That one's not going to stick. So um, this will get a full layer of sealant over it. Um, I tend to use Mod Podge because it doesn't have a nasty smell and I can, I can seal it inside. I don't have to be outside in the heat. And we get a lot of flies this time of year. And I really don't want to be spray sealing something outside and have a fly land on it when I walk away while it's drying. And then I found with the spray sealers, they carry their smell. Maybe I'm just that sensitive, but you know, I'll try to leave something outside for as long as I can. But when I bring it back in, it still smells like the sealant for days. Sometimes the smell doesn't even go away, which is kind of infuriating. So if you're currently working on any um, art projects, feel free to tag me on Twitter. I'm not really on Instagram. Um, I am on Coffee, Kofi, whatever the hell you're. I think it's Coffee, but it's probably Kofi. But I think it's supposed to be pronounced Coffee because it's like, hey, somebody bought me a coffee. Instagram I probably should be but then my brain's like that's another account that you have to keep track of so I don't know gotta think about that We're just kind of filling in here. So I realized that I am partially off camera at the moment. Sorry about that. I'm a little bit zoomed in from the other project I was working on. And we did go a little bit early today just so we could try to get some more stuff done. soon we're going to start in on the dark purple here and getting that filled in because we do need to get moving on some parts of the sky so that is going to be one of the more time consuming aspects of this adventure is going to be this purple cloud situation. I mean, it's, it's still time consuming no matter 
what you're doing, whether you're doing the little snakes or um, or the little circular doodads, but circular doodads are a little bit more time consuming because you have to make the paper snake and then you have to, to do your little spiral. But the spiral might take up a little bit more real estate. So I'm not sure. I'm going to start over in this left hand corner here in just a minute with our dark purple. Once we get a second layer of our light purple wrapped up, just in a couple spots, just needed a little something extra. A little glue pieces that I'm flicking off my fingers. are going everywhere. So you might want to keep like a paper towel handy or something to wipe your hands on. And wear old clothes. Big advocate of wearing old clothes when doing the arty things because you never know when something's going to spill on you. You gotta have a really nice shirt that you have for leaving the house. And then get a tiny drop of ink or paint or glue and then trying to get it off it just spirals out of control and then you're big sad so okay I think that's all I want on the second cloud there for now for that shade at the very least. Alright, so I'm gonna put that color to the side because I don't know if I'm using that anymore today. Um, Alright. Now, we're gonna start to put in our purple. to let the glue make its way down the uh, down the bottle there And I'm just using the brush to kind of smooth this out. Just kind of make sure everything is covered where I want it to be at the moment. And you don't have to do this part. This is just something that I do. And it helps my glue go a little bit further. And if you do use the brush to spread the glue out, then make sure you're rinsing your brush right after you're done spreading it. Because otherwise you're going to have a brush full of glue. And a brush that you're not going to be able to use for very long. Right. Let's 
get some of our purple, our darker purple. And let's get to twisting. I like a lot of the older Owl City stuff too. Don't like a whole lot of the newer ones for some reason. They're just not hitting a chord with me, but I do like the older ones. Oh, how'd that get in there? We have an imposter sneak in. He didn't get twisted. Actually, I don't even think you're twistable. <laughs> you're so tiny. This one seems like it's from the shade that was just a touch darker. Because I had the one shade I was using and then I accidentally switched to a different shade because they were so close. And then I didn't realize I had grabbed the wrong shade at first and I'm like, oh wait. Something looks a little off here. Like, oops. <laughs> it happens. Especially when you have a lot of false colors that you're working with. That's okay. We'll make it work. We will make it work. Sorry if I'm not doing as much talking today. My allergies are so bad. And my voice feels extra scratchy today. I'd actually kind of wanted a cup of tea last night, but then when I looked at the time, I'm like, it's 2.30 in the morning. You are not having tea right now. You'll be up till 8 a.m. Like, and I needed to go to bed, so. Been a rough, rough spring on the allergies. But yeah, I'm, my husband and I are becoming more and more convinced that I'm just allergic to this area because there's so many people that grow hay fields um, and then sell the hay for money that um, I seem to be allergic to the hay because. I seem to start having extra problems when uh, when they've recently cut it and we see that there's fresh bales out in some of the fields near us. It's like, oh, right. That explains a little bit. For some reason, this year seems to be extraordinarily bad. Which is strange. But it's not like people stopped tending to their fields last year. Yeah. 
and I was actually thinking, oh, well, the rain will help clear the air. It just kind of made it worse, actually. Somehow. Somehow it made it worse. Alright. The circular ones on the edges can be a little tricky. But if there's any tails sticking up, I'll be able to tuck those in when I go to seal it because the Mod Podge will get all down in there. And it'll kind of soften up the top just a little bit, just enough. Or like any of these little tails that are being unruly, be able to deal with those. I suppose you could use tweezers for this, but then your tweezers are going to get glue on them. They will get gunky pretty quickly. Kind of just easier to use your fingers and then just wipe your fingers off. Or rub the glue off of your fingers. Then again, I was one of those kids that would put glue on their hands when they were bored on rainy Saturday afternoons and let it dry and then like peel it off. I don't know why, but it fascinated me so. But I also am one of those people that will peel their sunburn when their skin starts to peel. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to. But I can't help it. I just can't help myself. Alright, yeah, see these ones are a little bit easier to do the little circles on because these ones were a little bit bigger. I wasn't watching the size on these on this color as closely because this was from a different project and um, I had a different container that this color was being kept in so the size didn't matter as much. The, the longer ones are a little bit easier to uh, roll. So after all of the drama the other night, um, where like half the surrounding town's police departments were in our town like around midnight 1230 last night maybe it was a few minutes after that an ambulance went through town and because it was so still and quiet and there wasn't any other traffic noise it was echoing oddly and it made it sound like there was more of them than just the one And 
husband messaged me. He goes, oh god, sirens, now what? And, um... And I was like, that was sort of my first thought, too. But then I realized it was just one that went by, and one's not unusual. Um, and then I had noticed on one of the town Facebook pages um, I'm on, somebody's like, did someone just hear gunfire a few seconds ago? And I'm like, what? And then somebody's like, no, but I heard sirens. And somebody's like, oh, no, not again. What now? And I was like, oh, jeez. The whole town's been traumatized um, by what happened the other night. But um, it seems like the officers, the officers still in ICU. But um, from reports, it sounds like he's probably gonna be okay. He was stable at least. Um, And, uh, still no word on what provoked the dude to shoot at the cops. I mean, there was a domestic disturbance call. Um, I don't know what happened to cause that. Apparently the sheriff's department is still investigating. It's crazy. Everybody's doing fundraisers for the officer, the officer's family, the police department in general, um, the suspect's wife, because apparently it was a domestic violence thing is what started it. And they're trying to help her as well. and. So I guess that's kind of one of the, it's kind of a good thing and it's kind of a bad thing. Like it's kind of good that everybody wants to help everybody, but it's also kind of a bad thing because when you don't want people in your business and you're in a small town, everybody ends up in your business, it seems. But it's nice that everybody's trying to um, I guess come together. They're talking about doing blue front port light for front porch lights again for a little while. To um, in honor of the officer that got hurt. Kind of glad there was no. Uh, no activities happening down at the sports field at that time of night when everything happened because it wasn't that late and sometimes the little league baseball games can go a little bit later but fortunately it seemed like it was not a night when there was any games happening down there because it was just a block away from the uh, the baseball fields And the public pool wasn't open yet, although I don't know if it would have been closed by that time of night. I don't know what time they normally close when they are open. They weren't open at all um, last year because of things. It looks, I don't know if they're going to fully open this year. Um, they had posted something about that they were going to allow um, rentals for private parties this year. Because a lot of people would have their kids' birthday parties at the, um, at the public pool. Okay, so there's a few spots in there that's going to need um, a second layer, and that's fine. Sort of expecting that. Okay, let's get 
in this. There we go. That was bugging me. Um, <laughs> this one's not bugging me so much because we'll cover that. Just to get this. Spread out. And that section. It's raining again. I'm hearing weird noises outside. Okay. It does sound like rain. Actually, it's like like a loud pinging. It got cold. Um. It was like almost 80, then we had that severe storm front move through, and now it's just been... It's been miserable. It feels like the beginning of April again. Or it's still kind of wet, and we've been having a lot of... Dang it, get in there. We're having a lot of cold rain showers. These ones could be a little difficult here. That's okay. We can fix it. We'll fix it. Like, they weren't too sure if we were going to have a whole lot of rain today, and then I was seeing something about maybe severe storms, but then they took the severe away. And it seems like they weren't 100% sure about the rain today. It was like a chance, but I haven't looked at the radar since I got up. I probably should. I know it's been very, very dreary out. Poor husband woke up to our neighbor yelling because um, the neighbor across from them, their basset hounds, got out of their yard again. And these two like, oh, there's a little bit of a, is that a thunderstorm? Is that just a rain shower? No, just a rain shower. Um these two like to wander into the road and the dude lives right on the corner and um, she was having a hard time getting them to come to her and then they came to her and then she couldn't leave them because they wouldn't stay and she didn't want them to get into the road and so Russell had to get up and uh, go try to get a hold of the neighbor apparently a contractor left a gate propped open after they were asked not to do that and these two guys just wandered out in the road. We've caught them outside twice of the fence. Um, the one time was like in the middle of the afternoon we were doing something out front and cars were slowing down and somebody beeped and I'm like what the hell and I looked up and there's two basset hounds in the road. I'm like oh god. So um, we managed to corral them and get them back to where they needed to go. And uh, apparently these ones love to go on an adventure and love to dig. So <laughs> they've actually got um, cinder blocks in front of the gate because they keep digging all of the dirt away and slipping under. The 
cutest dogs. They're so happy. There's a lot of semis that go by here. And a lot of people that don't pay attention. And I don't think people follow low speed going past this place. Um, I think the speed's supposed to be like 35 and there's people that do 40, 50 past here. Which is kind of aggravating. There's a couple sections in there that will probably need a, a second layer. Not too big of a second layer, but we'll let that section set up before we try to put the second layer on. Big boy, big boy glue bottle, come on. Just put some stripes down. I probably put too much for that section. It's probably going to go everywhere. At least everywhere all over me. But when it's a little bit thicker, it gives me a little bit more time to work with it. Sometimes. And rinse my brush again. And I've got a paper towel that I'm just blotting it. Same paper towel I've been using for a couple of weeks. I've just been keeping it with all of that because it's just blotting the brush dry. And it hasn't disintegrated yet, so I'll just keep using that same one until we can't use it anymore. Alrighty. And time to dive back in with more purple. I know it gets a little repetitive when you're just doing the same color. Sometimes I'll jump around, um, but this week we really do need to get some stuff done up here, because it'll never get done if we don't knuckle under. And actually work on it. I have no idea what I'm listening to because it's not in English. But it, yet yeah, it sounds vaguely familiar. I don't. What song is this? Oh, I think it's in. I don't know if that's Italian. Might be an Italian. That kind of makes sense. Kind of. That's okay. The singing was a little distracting because I'm like trying to actually listen to it. I'll just swap songs for now. Hope everybody's having a good day. Anybody 
have any plans for this weekend? Doing anything special? I'm not going to be doing anything this weekend except, well, nothing special, nothing out of the norm. Just, uh, working on getting some leveling done. on the bloodthirsties and um, hopefully it won't storm too much so I can get that done in time for next Wednesday. I actually have to look at the weather for next Wednesday and see if um, I may have to change stream day again, well, bloodthirsty day again. It is a possibility for the next month until our severe weather stuff calms down a bit. Usually the month of May can be a little bumpy as far as weather is concerned. Actually, one of our severe weather months here. Seems like we've been getting a fair amount of rain. Hopefully, we won't be in a drought later this in the summer. I guess that depends on how hot it is this summer. See, it wasn't a very wet winter. Um, we had a whole bunch of rain earlier this week, and that sparked flash flooding. A few water rescues, like it was pretty, pretty wild. A couple of towns north of us with all of their flooding. But, um, we'll see what happens over the next week. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Like we'll get flash flooding and flood warnings in our town. And our black our backyard will get a little soggy. Um we'll get some puddles. We'll get um a small lake form in the backyard from time to time. But the house sits up higher and it's more towards the front of the property. And then the backyard's kind of in the um slope downward, so the house is never affected, or at least it hasn't been up to this point. Oh, I was seeing videos today um, when I got up from some water spouts down in the Keys. It was kind of neat and kind of scary at the same time because the one storm over Key West at times had like three or four at the same time. I was like, oh, okay. Like, it seemed like more funnels. Like, I think only maybe one might have touched the water that I saw in the video. But there was definitely a lot of funnel action happening. It's definitely, uh, definitely attention grabbing. I don't think they did any, oh, dropped it. I don't think they did any damage though. Because one of the, um, one of the webcams I watch on YouTube had posted a separate video. <sighs> um, 
posted a separate video on YouTube that they had captured off of their camera showing all of the different funnel clouds from this morning and the potential water spots that they picked up. It's kind of wild. Meanwhile, the sun's out on the other half of the island. <laughs> That one just completely unraveled. A couple of these have been unraveling. I guess I'm not pulling them quite tight enough. My fingers are like, nope, we're done. I'm like, no, no, you're not done. We still have quite a ways to go. Hear the one cat meowing in the bedroom. He's mad that he had to go chill out in there for a while because the cat that he doesn't get along with really wanted out of the bedroom and normally he just lays down and takes a nap in the afternoon and other times he really wants in that room badly so we put him in there and now he doesn't want to be in there and he doesn't want to go take a nap. He just wants to sit there and meow. Constantly. It's like, buddy, if you two aren't going to get along, then you're going to have to cope with being swapped out for a couple of hours here and there. Since you won't leave the other one alone. And she was determined to get out of that bedroom this morning, this afternoon. I had cracked open the door to check on them because the husband had been up for a while because he had slept in there. And um, I was like, are we doing okay in here, kitties? And the one cat that doesn't get along with the other one like made a beeline for the door. They're like, time to get out of here. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. I wasn't prepared for this, but all right. And then I had to follow her closely until I found out where the other cat was. There wasn't a terrible cat fight. No tragedies. No animal tragedies today, please. What's kind of wild about that rocket that's going to fall down from the... Uh, From the orbit, like that Chinese rocket that they didn't think was going to make it into orbit and then did make it into orbit and now it's falling out of orbit and they don't know where it's going to land. And one set of officials are saying, no, no, the whole thing's going to burn up. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And other officials are saying, um, actually, because you didn't tell us what it was made out of. Our calculations are saying 40% of it's not going to burn up and it will survive falling back down and it's like, uh, where's this thing going to land? And other people are saying, no, no, it's probably going to land in the ocean. Two thirds of the planet's ocean or something. And I'm like, or whatever the percentage is, I can't remember what the exact one is. And it's like, um... It won't fall in a populated area. And then they were showing pictures of debris that had fallen off one of their test prototype rockets from a year ago. That was like some kind of metal piping that fell off of it that landed near um, a town or a village in Africa on the coast. And people were saying it came down straight like a spear. I'm like, they're lucky nobody got killed. Like, holy shit. So I don't know where they're thinking it's going to land now, but some people were like, okay, this is our prediction, plus or minus 16 hours. And I'm like, uh. 
That's not very precise. If this thing is circling the globe like once, what was it, a half an hour? An hour? That's, um, that's not good enough. And part of me is like, put the SpaceX team on it. Let's see what they come up with. Let's see where they think this thing's gonna fall. But I guess not knowing the material that it's made out of, they might not be able to do that. But we'll see. I think they did rule out the North and South Pole. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's helpful. That's, that's super helpful. Sorry, I'm just working on getting the glue off my fingers. Right. I will say the smaller they are, they're a little bit more difficult to uh, put down here. But I think I need a tissue or something to help wipe some of this off. This is partially where the stylus does come in handy. It kind of helps you sink some of these little unruly sections. Back down in there. Not completely getting covered in glue because I do have quite a thick glue layer going here it seems and that's fine like I, I could have gone a little bit thinner but I also want to make sure it's gripping the paper and all its little crevices too so And this, um, you can use whatever end of the stylus you want, or if you just have a, oh, that one slid, that's not good. Um, or you can use, you know, a toothpick, that works fine too. time in the house. All the animals are, except for the one cat, seem to be settled into nap mode. Although Momo looks a little perturbed that he's got the comforter halfway across the bed and can't get under it. So I might have to get up and fix that for him. Just a second here. I'm actually wondering if I've got enough purple paper twisted here. I am suddenly not sure if I have enough. Let's 
We will see, I guess. I mean, I have more purple. Purple. Um, definitely have more purple paper. So it's not like I'm going to run out of this shade. I'm just getting to wonder if I have enough. Correct. I, oh, that was not intended. <laughs> there was a little tiny fuzz sticking up out of there, and I'm like, oh, let me grab that. Yoinked the whole thing out of there. Oops. Well, it's okay. This section we knew we were going to have to put a second layer on in spots anyhow. That's fine. Because our paper snail rose bud things are looking more like paper <clears throat> donuts today because I can't seem to keep that center circle filled in. That's alright. That's again also partly why I painted a color key in underneath, roughly. Um, just in case there were any gaps in the first layer that we didn't have to be too upset if um, any white canvas poked through. sometimes you just can't get these tightly um, tightly rolled sometimes they just refuse depending on how hard you made your paper snake like how tight you twisted that and how well your fingers are cooperating at the time. Okay, we're almost done this one section. At least we got done the light purple in the sky. We still have some light purple to deal with um, in the bottom of the painting. But that's just going to be... Um, that's going to be straight lines because it's going to be water reflections, so I'm not going to be doing the snail shell thingies down at the bottom. Get some more glue going. Got 
like little tiny blue bits everywhere from trying to rub it off my fingers. This actually needs a few extra pieces on top there. Here. Okay. Hopefully this section has secured enough underneath. Actually, I need to steal a little bit of that glue, put that down in there, just need one more piece to sit in that hole. that'll give the section a chance to think about what it wants to do and hopefully behave before we start moving into the next part. So this is an 11 by 14 canvas. So it's, it's not that big, um, it's definitely bigger than the mini stuff that we tend to do a lot of things on, but that's okay. So I'm just popping a couple pieces in here and there, just kind of trying to cover any gaps or unruly sections that didn't want to cooperate fully. And I mean, it's paper, it's going to happen, you just kind of have to... I want to say roll with it, but <laughs> pun not really intended there, but um, we still have to do these two trees. We haven't done those yet, or there's a tree further off on the other side that um, we haven't done yet either. That's okay, I want to really focus on the sky today, but I am questioning whether I have enough paper prepped to finish the sky today. What time is it? I'm used to starting later, so I was like, Ugh, what time? What's our time at? But it's still... I was gonna say, it's still fairly early. No, it's not. Um, we haven't been going that long, though. Okay, so I'm just twisting some more paper circles when I'm slightly off camera because the angle that the camera's at, you can't really see me twisting them that well.
and for anybody that couldn't stay and watch the whole thing right now, um, I am um, exporting these over to YouTube in their full long form. Yelling. I don't think the microphone's picking it up. I think he's too far away, but I can hear him. And that fast, I think our rain shower ended. We are, in fact, making progress today. I know this isn't going to be for everybody because it is, it is a slow... It is a slow um, art form. It's not as quick and to the point as like watercolor or even acrylic. And at this point, I would say even painting in oils is faster, although the dry time's a lot longer on oils depending on, on what you do with it. My Bad Ross oils always take a long time to dry depending on what surface I've painted them on. Um, the wood pieces dried like within three weeks and I think that's because it was wood underneath even though I gessoed it um, those seemed to dry a lot faster the mini canvases took forever and like it not really like dry in the traditional sense of drying but I guess skinned over enough where they could be handled but um, I also have to keep them in containers with lids on them and I have holes drilled in the side of them because of all the um, animal fur that likes to drift through the house. So if they had more open air exposure, would they dry faster? I don't know. Maybe. But um, I'd probably like need to put them in a pie chest or something with like an extra fine screen over it in the hopes of catching any of the extra animal fur that flies by. I feel like I need one more right in here. If I can get the glue to molasses its way down the bottle. Alright. And then it will start to fill this in here. Actually, I've got two spots, maybe three, where I would like to see a little bit more of the light purple, where I just noticed I've got a gap there that I need to deal with.
And yeah, I mean, sometimes you won't see a gap right away. And if the gap doesn't bother you, then hey, that's fine. You don't have to fix it. If the gap doesn't bother you, then there's really nothing to fix. Alright, so let me clean my brush again. purple bag, a light purple bag real quick, and just grab a couple that we need. Let's fix those spots in question. And of course now I see another spot that's going to bug me. So let's fill that in. how that does us for the time being. Oh, I ripped that one by accident. Oops. Moving on. That one was being unruly from the moment I tried to start rolling it. So the picture in the bottom corner is our sort of, damn it, our sort of reference photo. No, no. Alright, if it's just gonna be that unruly, just take it out and re-roll it if you can. It's gonna be covered in glue now, which might actually help the cause, but and again, it, it might not, but if it doesn't want to cooperate at all, just grab a different piece. It happens. But, um, yeah, so the bottom is the reference photo I'm using. Um, that's similar to what the original looks like. That's not the original. Um, the original is from Bob Ross, and I didn't get the chance to get a screen cap of that one itself, but um, as I was saying before, um, we painted that tutorial for the project we're working on now um, that we're trying to replicate. We painted that tutorial, I think, last year. And that is a magnet, and I believe that magnet is still for sale. I don't think that one's sold yet. So 
So we are just trying to sort of recreate as best we can one of his paintings. Because you know, people have recreated, they've followed his tutorials, they've tried to do it blindfolded, they've tried to do it where they're not blindfolded and they can see their colors, but they can't see what he's doing, they only have the audio, while everybody else is watching the actual video side by side of what they're doing in the hot mess that it's turning into, but um, I haven't seen one person try to recreate and follow his tutorials with icing um, or frosting, whatever you want to call it, and uh, I'm like, well, let's try to do it in tissue paper. And um, this isn't bleeding tissue paper, it's just normal, like, gift bag tissue paper. Nothing special. Not that expensive compared to, like, oil paints or some other art supplies. I mean, you could probably... You could probably do this on poster board, to be perfectly honest, as your base. I've done this on canvas panel before. I'm not a fan of the canvas panel, though. The corners... For me, the corners always get fussed real easy, but... And for some reason, they like to warp on me for reasons that I have not been able to figure out, but this is why I tend to go with the stretch. The canvas stretch can sometimes warp a little bit, but I've had the panels really warp on me, so I'm hesitant to do anything with them. But I tend to use stretched canvas. I mean, you could probably find smaller stretched canvases at the dollar store. Um, or maybe even like Dollar General for not too much money. You could probably do this on poster board like I was saying. Um, I don't know if it might get a little um, buckly because of the amount of glue that's going to be on it, but it might not. You could probably do it on foam core. Foam core would be sturdy if you're worried about potential buckling. Sometimes foam core is expensive though, but... Or at least when I went to get foam core, I was having a hard time finding inexpensive pieces of it. Which baffled me because at one point foam core was not that expensive and then all of a sudden like the price on it shot up out of nowhere. Tell me I did not just get glue in my eyelashes. <laughs> oh my god, I hope I didn't. My eye was itchy. I thought I rubbed it with a finger that didn't have glue on it, I hope. Well, it is just tacky glue, so it should wash out. Which is why we're going to be sealing this with um, Mod Podge when everything is said and done. Because the tacky glue, if it gets wet, will unstick. Like with water. It, it does not like water. It is not washable. This particular version is not washable. Um, so I wouldn't... Uh, I'm done saying this should be put out in the rain because it is paper. I would not do that. Don't do that. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna 
put that Mod Pod sealer on top of it to help smush everything together. And make sure that everything is happy and secure. And the Mod Podge on top will get all down in the, the crevices and make sure everybody is in fact stuck to each other as well as our surface. So we could probably do this on wood. You know, anything that you can put tacky glue on. Should be able to do this on. So I mean, you don't have to get high-end supplies to do this. It's just tissue paper, tacky glue, some Mod Podge for the very end so we can seal it. And um, tissue paper. Like, I'm using a stylus at times just to kind of help tuck things in and move stuff around. You don't even have to get that. I got that at the dollar store, number one. Um, number two, you can use a toothpick or like a kitchen skewer. Just don't put that kitchen skewer back into kitchen rotation. Leave it out in your uh, art supplies. You could use a paper clip, like anything, really. No, no, don't untwist. Get in there. Ah! Sometimes they like to be unruly. That is just the nature of it. It seems. Oh, if you have a longer hair, I would um, put it up. I'd like put it up in a clip or um, braid it back or something just to keep any longer pieces. Like a ponytail might be okay if you can keep the ponytail from flipping in front of you, like over your shoulder, just so you don't accidentally get glue in your hair. I mean, it's not the end of the world but then you don't want it like dragging on your clothes and stuff, so. Again, old clothing. Or clothing that you can do crafts in that it doesn't matter if it gets something on it. I am awesome at getting stuff on myself, it doesn't matter. That's why I have specific clothes that I wear around the house. And then clothes and pants that I can wear outside of the house. If I don't plan on going anywhere today, or for the day, then I am in the house clothes because you never know what you'll be getting into. And one of my special talents is getting stuff all over me. I won't even know that it's happened at the time until hours later. I will look down and I'm like, what is on me? Where did that come from? Alright, so don't forget to cue up your music so you have something fun to listen to. Mm. 
Again, sorry, I'm not playing any, but I don't want to take the risk. I was using pretzel for a while and it was working, but then it wasn't really working and then my VODs were getting muted, which kind of defeated the purpose of having the VODs, so um, I just stopped using pretzel. I don't know why it was suddenly getting um, muted. It just seemed to sort of happen. We might actually get a good portion of the purple done today. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? see how it goes. I mean, we still have a good chunk of purple to fill in, but... Is there still some of this painting that's not actually in frame? It's like off that way. I think I definitely prefer the paper snakes and the little tiny, um, sometimes I'll do little tiny paper balls. The circles do start to make the tips of my fingers sore a little bit after a while. Oh, puppy dreaming. I hear his tiny little woof, woof. It's cute, but it's scary when you're in bed and it's dark and he's under the blankets with you and he starts growling in his sleep and I'm like, uh oh. He's never bitten me, but I'm like always, it's okay, puppy. Let me just look this up for a second. So let's deal with something there real quick. I'm trying to see if anybody. We're probably going to need a couple second layer pieces in here, but let's let that section set up first. And let me do a scouring of my fingers here real quick. Make sure I've got the worst of the... Oh, oh right. I still had purple down. Of course all these purple things coming from on my shirt. Because I wasn't paying attention. And that's why. We are making progress. 
it's slow progress, but it is progress. And honestly, it's really not that slow <laughs> compared to the other project I'm working on. That's slow. If I remember to when we're done here today, I will show you a glimpse of that one. that I used a reference image somewhere to kind of give me the base of it. going to tuck in a little bit extra glue right in there. Okay, let's see how that's gonna go. All right. And back to making our paper circles. Sorry, there was a noise behind me and I didn't know what it was. It was Peabody. The cat? One of the cats looking to get into trouble. From what I can see, although it's been my experience that most cats are looking to get into trouble to some degree. At least him. Him and Cal. At least he's not sitting here meowing at me directly, constantly, which he tends to do. And we don't know why. He will just sit there and meow at me. I go and check his food. He has food. I go and check his water. He has water. I'll pet him for a few minutes and then he takes a swing at me and I'm like, dude. I can't stand here and pet you forever. I am not your slave. Nope, 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 nope. Stay. I know most cats probably see humans as their slaves, but. It's like, no, no. So we are teaching the, the cat that we have to swap out of the other room for a few hours a day. When he comes out, we are teaching him that he's going to get a reward when he comes out. And he loves bubbles. He's like one of the only cats that do. And he loves to chase them and pop them. The other two cats are, two of the other cats, well I guess little. The kitten's kind of curious about them, but so three of the other cats um, are curious, but if the bubble touches them or pops on them, they freak out and leave the room. It's like a, oh God, it touched me situation and they leave. But him, he loves them. So we're trying to teach him that when he comes out of there as of being a good boy reward that he gets some 
some bubble time. And he gets so excited when he sees the bottle. Like, he knows what's in there. All of the excited meowing ever. We try not to do too many food treats. Because we don't know what my parents tried to give them at times. And a couple of cats have gone diabetic for whatever reason in the past. Although we've started to cut out the wet food that they were getting constantly on top of the dry food. It's like, one or the other, please. So, um... See if that helps. I've also been trying to slow down their eating. Because the one guy will eat so fast and then he throws up because he ate so fast. So we've been trying to put smaller amounts out and not do a full bowl. We've been using a smaller bowl. Had to change the bowl a couple of times because Peabody doesn't like his whiskers touching the side of the bowl and he gets mad. And then will sit there and meow at me to make me do something about it. Peabody doesn't actually really like human food, which is fascinating. Like the other cats, a couple of the other cats, they're like, you have food? I want that. And I'm like, no, no. Peabody couldn't care less. Like, we've tried on holidays to give him a little bite of turkey or something, and he's like, meh. He'll sit and watch the others eat it. But, um... He doesn't really care. I think this year was the first time he's really showed any interest in eating it. And it was because somebody else walked away and didn't finish theirs. Like, he doesn't even really like fish in the rare times that somebody has tuna in the house. He just kind of... He'll come and watch everybody else eat it, but... He's like, nah, I'm good. It's like, okay. If you're sure. You are going to stay there. Okay. So I know we're on part five, so we've been doing this for five weeks counting the color key process. So I mean if you don't count the color key process it's really been four weeks that we've been putting tissue paper in but the um, amount of time I've worked on it hasn't actually been that long. We haven't done any um, marathon sections or marathon days of working on it. And I'm sorry we haven't done any super long art streams recently. But just with everything else going on lately, it's just been a little tricky getting time for those. Almost got to the end on that roll, and uh, the middle started to let go. I was like, no! In that case, we'll just re-roll it now, instead of trying to put it down. tomorrow I'm going to be like, my fingers are so sore and I don't know why. 
gonna have to remember. Our aloe plant's doing really good. We put him outside now. We kept bringing him back in because the temperature kept dropping. But I haven't killed him yet. So that's fun. It was living on the shelf or window behind our sink in the kitchen but um he was starting to get a little big and then it's like oh you know what we need to change his pot so we got a slightly bigger pot and when we put him in the bigger pot he just kind of exploded and then he didn't fit on the windowsill behind the sink anymore and then we we're like oh well I guess he's gonna have to go outside now And um, so we put him outside, and then it started to drop below freezing again, and we're like, oh, that's not good. So we had to bring him back inside, and he was inside, outside, inside, outside, but I think we should be warm enough now. I'm still worried about my elephant ears. It looks like the one starting to grow, maybe two of them. Haven't seen any signs of life from the other ones yet, but I, maybe it just hasn't been quite hot enough yet. I don't know, maybe we're jumping the gun on them. Maybe they're not getting enough sun for the day. I thought they were. But we haven't been consistently hot for days in a row, so... That could partially be it. We'll have to see. Hopefully they grow. If they don't, that'll be sad. That'll be a sad muffin. Looks like we can squeeze one more in that little section. Alright, let me move these off to the side. And let me see where we are lacking. Sometimes you have to change the angle that you're looking at something. Alright, I see a couple spots that need a little bit of... Come on, glue. You can do it. There we go. A couple of spots up in this top section. There we go. A little away from the edge there. that goes. Actually, let's let me smooth that out a little bit.
sure we got all the glue out of the brush. Okay, and there's just like a little section at the tippy top where I wasn't quite on the edge, so we'll just kind of touch that up here. That shouldn't take too long. probably better to just deal with that now. Instead of later. Later it might be a little more difficult to deal with. It's going to be a, like a little bumpy up there, but that's okay. I mean, we're doing this to create, we're doing it this way for texture, so. I mean, bumpy is to be expected. If we had wanted it super flat, we could have done this a different way. sure. Everyone up here seems to be holding, so that's good. It's always awesome when it does. Always fantastic when things come together. Alrighty. So I did have some little, I don't know, little piece of glue skin, I guess, come off of my finger and stick with that piece of paper. Oh, goodness. We might be able to pull that back off in a little while, though. It happens. Let's get some more paper dues.
So I've got a couple ideas for some new ones that we'll probably try to do after this one. Yeah, I hope everybody's having a good Friday. Or Saturday or whatever day it is for you. I just saw a spot that I need to add another piece of light purple. So I can't forget to go back and do that. If I remember to do so when we are done this particular section, I'll do it in a few minutes. Almost five. Just checking my time. Like we started early too. What time did we start? Five, four, two forty five, something like that. Something like that. Okay. Hopefully I'm getting this top edge for the most part. I think I'm covering it. Can't really see it that well. it feels like we are. No idea what that sound was. Well, no, I feel like I know what that sound was, but it's not a sound I'm used to hearing around here. Sounds like a jet plane going over. We don't normally hear the jet planes. We're not normally in the flight path here. 
Well, no, that's not true. We are sort of in the flight path for one of the Air Force bases, I think, in Little Rock. Because um, sometimes we'll see uh, Black Hawk helicopters go by every once in a while. Not too often, but sometimes. Or we'll see some other military planes once in a while. Though I will say the one day it was kind of creepy seeing like six or seven <laughs> Black Hawk copters going overhead. Everybody was on Facebook like, what's going on? What is happening? No, no, no. My circle was unraveling. Just as I got to the end of it. Uh, trying to get a grip on it to place it down. It wanted to unravel. Alright, let me... there and that there so we'll do two eh, we've mostly got it yeah we're gonna call it good enough all right so let's work on this section in here Probably a little, a little heavy on the glue, but again, maybe not quite that heavy. Considering we are. Spreading it out a little bit here. Alright, so this tree won't be leafless. Um, it will have leaves of some extent, it just I haven't put them in yet. Because we're going to put them on after all of the cloud work is done. because we want the tree closer to us, so the tree will have to be blocking some of the cloud work in order to kind of get the right feel for it in there. All right, let me make sure we're sort of in frame. Um, let me grab my other purple color here real quick. I should just stop hanging that bag back up because I keep seeing different angles and I'm like, oh no, we need to stick something there. We might have enough purple to get this section done. We're, we'll need more purple for the water, that's for sure. I'll need to prep more. I have more, just not ready. <laughs> I do have more of it, so that's not the issue. I guess. Oh, I think I need a new tissue here. Wipe my fingers off them. 
don't seem to have any paper towels handy. Oh, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Sorry, I tried to warn you guys ahead of time. I know that's kind of killer on the earbuds. Or the uh, ears when you have headsets on. And everything's just randomly falling now. That's good. Like I said, it's been really rough on the allergies lately. Okay. Grab stylus and just kind of want to smooth that down in there as best as we can. Oof. Wow, it's amazing what a sneeze can uh, set off. Yeah, like the whole upper section of the roof of my mouth and the back of my throat is itching like crazy. Arr! I hate that feeling. But if I take Benadryl, I will like be a zombie, even the non drowsy one. And sometimes that sets my nosebleeds off worse, so. I just kind of try to cope. Some days are easier to cope with than others. Excuse me. Okay. Alright, give me one second. I do need to mute. I have got to blow my nose. It is terrible. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully that calms, uh, calms the uh, itchy throat feeling down a little bit. It might. For a few minutes at least. guys in here. The thicker ones are a little bit easier to um, put in the circle shapes. But they don't always want to stay in their circular shapes. Try to tuck the tails against the other pieces just to try to help hold them in place. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't, and I'm like, why is it unraveling? And I'm like, oh, right. Or if I have a long enough tail, I'll try to tuck it under the circle. Though sometimes I can spring it back up if there's not enough glue down. Some 
sometimes it just comes down to finding a way to get it to work for you. Or not doing this because uh, no one else is as crazy as I am. If you see one that looks like it's gonna try to pop up, you can grab whatever you're using. Toothpick, paper clip, pointy stick, whatever. Whatever you're using to try to get everybody to stay put. And just give it a little nudge back down into place for a second. I actually thinking we could do a fire tonight, but it rained. So I guess we can't do that tonight. We need to get our telescope out. It's starting to get a bit warmer now. We can actually be outside for a little bit at night. And uh, we got it for Christmas. And my mom's like, oh, you haven't used it yet. I'm like, no, because it's like been 20 degrees outside. And the second we take it outside, the lenses are going to fog up. And it's too cold to stand out there. At least for me, it's been. It might be too cloudy or wet tonight, so I don't think that's going to happen. We got a Powerball ticket tonight. Hopefully we'll at least have a number. It'd be nice to have more than a number, but the rare occasions that we do actually get one, they usually don't have a single number. <laughs> well, whoever wins, hopefully they actually really, really need it and it will really, really help them. Oh, 
don't even know what it's at tonight. to make sure I don't cover up the entire spot where um, where our tree branch is going to go. That would be a little awkward. Maybe I should have put the tree branches in before starting this section. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright, well, maybe we should do some tree branches before we continue on with um sky areas. So I have like Native American flute music going right now and they put bird noises in the background of it. And for a second I wasn't sure if these were bird noises from outside or if it was from my music. I was like, what? I was very confused there for a moment. So we probably don't have to be too precise um, in this section right here because we are in a we are going to have. <clears throat> oh my goodness, my sinuses are angry. Um, we're gonna have some. Excuse me, um, some tree branchy things happening. My brain just stopped. It just froze. So yeah, we'll have some tree branches in here and in here. And this section's gonna be purple. So we might not get the sky completely done today. We'll see though, I mean that was my main goal. <clears throat> and my dinner won't take that long to put together. So. We will try. All right, I do see like a couple spots in here where I would like to add another layer. Can't do that just yet, though. Alright. So. Let me shuffle our purple pieces out of the way for just a moment. And I'm gonna get some of this glue off my two fingers here 
real quick. Okay. So, let me get the brown. Now, I don't have a whole lot of brown preps, so we probably won't be able to do the whole tree. We'll be able to do some. At least the important bits up in here. Once it eventually comes down the bottle. <laughs> like to have a tacky glue bottle that is clear so I can see how much is actually left in the bottle. can see how close it is for me I'd like for it to come out of the bottle and how much is left so that way I know when I'm getting low I know they make like some clear tacky glue I think I just wish this particular formula came in a clear bottle Actually, before we rinse that, I should probably try to take this down the whole way, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't dry too fast on me. bottom section might dry a bit faster so we might need to do that section first alright got my stick of doom here actually not that easy at times to find a brown tissue paper for me like the stuff I got from Amazon in a multi-pack like I'm sure if you order it online it'll be a little bit easier and maybe in the fall if you're getting it in person in the store might be a little bit easier then as well but just every day trying to find the brown tissue paper, not that easy. Especially if your store only carries seasonal colors. So we're doing this up and down to kind of 
and give it a tree barky feel. Um, I do realize that this tree is two toned, um, and it will get its lighter counterpart color added to it, but I'm not there yet. Not there yet at all. So I will deal with that when the time comes. Right now I'm just kind of trying to get the base shape of the tree in place so that we can get our sky done here. Again, we don't have to have this super precise because there's going to be clouds coming in around this, but at least trying to tap in our edges quickly I can always come back in and trim that extra off the edge. But that's not a huge problem. Mm -hmm. I think we can fix that in a couple of minutes. Hopefully I have enough of this brown to get through this at least upper half of the tree. I can tuck the other shade of brown in around it. I do like doing this up and down because it kind of gives it more of a tree barky feel to it. There? Yeah. Okay. We don't want to wait. And, um, yeah, you can come in. We will get that in place as quickly as we can in this thinner section. That tucked in there. And we will get that in place. And 
as best as we can. I am trying to work a little bit more quickly in this spot just because I've got the glue a little bit thinner and I don't want to lose the sticking. in this section. And I know we might lose some of the tree to the leaves, but we still need to try to get it in there to begin with. because we still might see some of the texture. Under the leaves. So the like the sticks, or the little paper snakes, they, they do go quite a bit faster, as you can see. Definitely a lot faster than um, than the circles. But circles are serving their purpose, so. And again, these ones that are kind of hanging off the side, not a huge deal if they don't want to cooperate fully because we can just trim those sections off. I'm not exactly sure what my mom wanted, so we might not be able to finish the sky. Um, husband kind of wandered away for a minute, so not really sure why. I guess I will find out in a minute. Maybe she needed help reading a direction on a packaging or something for dinner. That's possible. So I need to trim a couple smaller pieces here to fit in that section. Hopefully it will fit and not put up a fuss about fitting in there. There we go. So I know I'm kind of working 
back and forth and jumping around a bit on this tree. But I'm trying to keep an eye for where the glue's a little bit thinner. So it doesn't dry too fast on us. Oh, we're, we're working on it. Everything okay? Yeah, you want something for fun? <laughs> the rain arrived, we knew it was gonna happen. Okay. Um. Did you just sort of my hand? I think that stuff I have will keep till tomorrow. I mean, do I just need to get you, like, a drink for now, and then you can have that tonight when you're done with your stream? Um, I don't know. I mean, is there anything you actually want from Sonic? Um, how about a drink and a pretzel? Okay. That's fine. I'm kind of leery about getting the other thing, because I think it wrecked me the last time I got it. It could very well be. I don't even know what the hell I'm going to do. I mean, I was kind of wanting Wendy's, but... Well, do I need to suggest going there? I don't know what she wants. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know what they would want from there, so... That plus it's 5.30, so... Yeah. I can ask if that's what they want. Uh, you can see. Ultimately, it's up to you, because you're the one that's driving to go get it. I really don't want to. Then don't. I think I'd rather wait till they get paid so they have money. Alright. So. Alright, so. I guess it's exciting. They finally put a Wendy's in closer than all the way down in. Fayetteville, or up in Fayetteville, which was always a pain, because whenever we got something to eat from there, it was cold by the time we got home, because it was, wasn't completely on the other end of Fayetteville, but it was a good distance. Like at least 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back, depending on traffic, if not longer. Because it was um, down near the university. So they just opened one about 10 minutes away. Which is exciting for us because it's something new on the times that we can get take out to uh, to utilize because Sonic's okay and all but I don't know sometimes our food wrecks my stomach or my stomach just can't handle type of oil in their fryers or something. I don't know. Well, I think the last time I got something from them, the tater tots were so well done. They're, it was like a crunchy outer shell and there was very little potato inside that was like potato. It kind of was hard and I was petrified. It's like these are either really old tater tots, which I find hard to believe because that place is always busy, or these were left down in the fryer a little too long. But I've not had good luck all of the time at our particular Sonic. 
sometimes I'll get French toast sticks and they don't give me syrup and I'm like this will get some with the bag and I'm like is there another bag because syrup and he's like oh I guess they didn't give it to me uh, the other night he got me a drink because my mom was like oh you guys want anything and I'm like okay so I got a drink and he brought it back and I'm like my straw and he goes oh she didn't give me a straw I'm like what fortunately we had one because it was a draw uh, a drink that kind of needs a straw with it so I got like a slushy those are kind of difficult to ingest without a straw. Not impossible, just more of a pain. The rest of our tree tapped in here. Actually, I think we need at least one more little piece to stick down in there. It's being a little fussy. Not tremendously so, but a little bit. Traffic's picking up. People are definitely heading home for the evening. Definitely need to get some more brown for the rest of the tree for next time. Well, that's for certain. Because well, I think we'll have enough to deal with this top part. Don't think we'll have enough to deal with the bottom part. But that's okay because we're not dealing with the bottom of the tree today. So that's okay. That is quite okay. I'm just kind of using the stylus to kind of Push these pieces in up against each other. At times, just to kind of get it a little bit tighter. Fill in the gaps a little bit better. Sometimes you just need to do that. And you can kind of get away with a little bit. If you've got like an extra big piece that's sticking out, sometimes you can kind of smush it down in there. But the fact that we're doing this with tree bark is kind of adding to that rough, gnarled tree feel, so. Kind of liking that bit there. 
this guy tucked into there. All right, so we need just a few more pieces of brown. All right. Hopefully I don't have to cut too much here. We are getting a little long for the section though, so we're going to have to cut a little bit. Maybe we don't need to snip that piece. Okay, so maybe we should have. Oh no no no! Don't don't lift up. I don't know why you're being fussy all of a sudden. But don't be fussy. All right, so I need just a tiny piece more. in that gap. I mean, and it's okay if I have a little gap here and there because I still have to come back in with that highlight color on the tree there. So right, that at least gets us down to there. It's not the whole um, tree, but it's a good, good part of it. Right, so we hang that color. All right. So let's see if we can get this guy wrapped up. Hopefully. And I can hear my husband animatedly talking in the background. Don't know what he's doing. I thought he was supposed to be going to get them food. Alright. This all filled in here. One of the cats is hissing at the other. What's going on over there? Peabody. Don't you be causing trouble. Peabot likes to play all innocent. But he can be quite the troublemaker at times. Looks like a lot of glue in there, doesn't it? Like a lot of glue. Alright. Clean off the brush. Alright, let's grab our purple. Our dark purple. 
now that our fingers had a chance to uh, rest for a minute. No, you don't. Get back in there. Okay. All right. Oh, I forgot to play Wizard Day. Yes. What do you think we've been doing all this time? Oh, I wasn't really paying attention. How about your phone, then? Obviously. Alright. Get that tucked in there. away paper snake oh my goodness he was like let's do this and just jumped on in my goodness well all right then that's how we're gonna do it Purple tails on the tree, but we are gonna have that lighter color coming in, so I guess we can overlay on top of that if if that really starts to become too much of a problem. I'm just trying to give these a chance to really take hold before I come in and trim up the edge there. It might not be a full trim, it might just be the getting the bulk of it off and whatever remains um, I'll just deal with when it comes time to sealing the, um, the piece and I can tuck them back down flat or as flat as I can to the side with um, the Mod Podge. So we might not be able to get this real precise in here. And that's okay because we can come in and we can tuck the tree around it and it'll be fine. Not a huge deal. Nothing to get too upset over. Oh, different one. This one looks promising. Sometimes some pieces of paper are just... <laughs> nope. That one just doesn't want to cooperate. That one did not want to become a circle. It just wanted to become a pile. A pile of a mess. That's all that one wanted to do. But let's see. So it's almost six. Really wanted to get this done. Or at least this uh, sky section, but I'm really getting kind of hungry. So we might not get it completely done 
today. But we'll at least finish in this one glue section. How about that? And then next week we'll finish um, our sky. Our sky area. And then we'll work our way down and we can um, finish off the tree or try to. So next week I will have to, or for next week, I will have to work on getting some more brown ready for our tree and work on the highlight color. And I don't know what we're gonna do with the bushes um, or the hedge line. The trees are fine. Um, being just smushed in there, it gives them more of a tree look, I think. Um, I mean, I could do little paper balls for the hedges, but I don't know. I might just continue the, um, the smushiness of the hedgerow. But maybe the paper balls would look better. I have some things to think on here, don't I? I mean, it might give it more of like, but it's not really supposed to be manicured. Hedge paper balls kind of give it more of a topiary feel. Um... So maybe, oh my, my silk's curling. Um, so maybe not that. I don't know. I mean, you'd have to really mix the colors in there pretty good. For sure. Come on, little tail, get down in there. Now we're probably gonna have to put a second layer on, on a few in this section anyway. Some of them are being a little unruly. As they tend to like to be. Um, now for my wow people, don't forget there is no wow challenges podcast this week. Uh, there will be a show next week. And um, I'm supposed to be co-hosting with... Um, Meet up on that.
but that is next week, not this week. So we've actually made a fair amount of progress today. I think we did. I mean, I had wanted to get this guy done today, but you never know how much time is going to be involved sometimes with meeting certain goals. Especially if some of your supplies are being cranky. Sometimes it takes a few extra minutes here and there. for everyone to get on the same page. That one tucked in there. Alrighty. Yeah, I think this last section that we're working on now will be as far as we get today. Sorry. I know this project is just carrying on forever, but not all projects can be finished in one session. Um, you know, like sculptures and stuff can take days or weeks. Some oil paintings take weeks. So I'm not terribly unhappy with where we are. I do wish it was going just a tiny bit faster, mostly for you guys, but like I'm well aware of how long these projects take. But I'm also not working on it off stream either. I'm working on it entirely on stream. And we're not working on it on stream every day, so. So in all actuality, it's really not taking that long. might need to see what my other purple options are here. See if I can find somebody that's going to twist a little bit better. Getting into these last crevices, working with the smaller pieces is a little difficult. Getting them down on in there. But we're getting there. Only got a little bit of glue on us today. 
not a terrible amount. A little bit. Alright, so this might be the last piece for today. So I need to go make me dinner. Alright, we'll worry about the second layer in these two sections next week. So, um, thank you guys. I know it was a bit of a longer one today. And um, I do appreciate your time for popping in and checking out the craziness that we're doing. Um, as a reminder, once again, there is no podcast tomorrow on Saturday for the Wild Challenges um, stuff. And next stream will probably be on Wednesday when we will probably be Wednesday. That day may change um, for a bloodthirsty challenge, uh, depending on the weather. So I will keep you guys informed over on Twitter. So don't forget to follow me there if I have to change stream day. I will post there, and I also post when I'm about to go live over there. So you guys have a great night. Have a great weekend. Um, thank you once again, and I'll see you next time.